I'm Kenny Anderson, Director of Multicultural Affairs for the City of Huntsville, and welcome to Impact. Each week we bring you information about exciting things that are happening in our community, and today I have perhaps one of the most exciting pieces of information to share with you that we've had in a considerable amount of time, only because this event attracts so many thousands of people to John Hunt Park right here in this community for a day of Soaring for Social Justice. It's Kite Festival 2015, and we hope that each of you will have an opportunity to put this one on your calendar. Joining me today are two individuals who are part of this event, and first of all, I have Daniel Kassenbeer. He's Executive Director of the Heart of Hunts, uh, Heart of the Heart of the Valley Y. Help me out there. One of those things. <laughs> yeah, don't, yeah I just want to make sure I represent you correctly, <laughs> but he's the Executive Director of the Heart of the Valley YMCA. And uh, we're glad that he's here today, but he's also chairing this initiative. So thank you for being here with us today. Thanks for having us, Kenny. Kerry Williams is Administrative Assistant at Wells Fargo, wonderful company in this community, doing great things. Uh, welcome to the broadcast. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And you're serving on this committee as well, helping out with volunteer coordination. Yes. And we're glad to have you here. And I have to say, you know, I had a chance to be a part of the Wells Fargo uh, award ceremony this past mm -hmm. year and I was really impressed with the level of community involvement that Wells Fargo has in this in this um, state as well as throughout the nation and it's really impressive I think to see how this is I think a very clear model of how business and the community win mm -hmm. when people make an investment and part of the investment for you is the time commitment because you are an employee of Wells Fargo but yet you come into this particular initiative and lend your skills and resources as well. So thank you for that. Thank you. I mean, this is the community that I live in and work in, so it's exciting to be part of it and dig into it. Yeah, so, so it just makes sense. Yes. And I know you're involved with Wells, both of you guys are involved in lots of things, and that's always good to see young professionals making a difference and really moving the needle forward. So thank you for that. Thanks, Kite Festival 2015, it's hard to imagine that this is year three. I remember the first year, it was an event that took place in terms of planning over the course of about three weeks. Mm -hmm. And I was just starting this job at the time as multicultural affairs officer. In fact, I hadn't even started my first day yet, but I was invited to come and be a part of this event. And I have to tell you, it was one of the most amazing things I'd ever seen before. I first of all wanna ask you all, before we really talk about what this event is, is what attracted you to this particular project? Would you wanna go first? I can start um, since I'm new to this project. This is my first year really helping with it. And I think the thing that caught me the most was just the cause. It was something that you could be involved in. It's family friendly, it's fun, but the purpose behind it was one that just gripped me and made me want to be part of it. Soaring for social justice, um, really just supporting the community and the people of this community was something that felt that you could really make a difference and be empowered in and, and join with something bigger than yourself. Yeah, and I know that you've been working on some other projects as well that are designed to bring about some synergy in the community, mm -hmm. to focus on various cultures, to recognize and affirm and appreciate and value all of the many different people that are part of the city. And really the Kite Festival is something that does that. Absolutely, and with it being its third year, it's something that's gaining momentum, that's already established, and you just can't help but want to, to join with that, what's already in motion. Yeah, Daniel, what attracted you to the project? Well, you know, for me, uh, I always kind of look at things when before I get involved with them. First, personally, is this, a, is this something or a project that if something would happen to me and my wife or we wouldn't be able to be involved as much in the community, Will my children be involved with that? And could they be involved with something positive like that? So that's the first thing. Professionally, I like to work with other great professionals such as yourself who really make a difference in the community. And when Bhavani Kakani asked me to be a part of what was going on, and you know, you can't tell Bhavani no. <laughs> so <laughs> I think we all have that thing. <laughs> you can't tell Bhavani no. And I, that just inspired me and said, you no, know, kites. I mean, you don't really look at things like that. A lot of times with the video games and things like that, kids don't get involved or families don't get involved as much anymore. But having a kite festival, we can go out and, and just you know, fly kite and have a good time with the families. That was really exciting for me. And, and you know, whereas there's no real agenda to this day, and some people may disagree with that, but there's no real agenda to mm -hmm. this day except to bring people together, regardless of race, ethnicity, uh, faith, regardless of gender, regardless of sexual orientation, regardless of all of these different dimensions of mm -hmm. life, 
that people oftentimes determine if somebody is okay or not okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have, uh, as I have experienced, an opportunity to come out and see families coming out together. We saw many people coming out walking their dogs and their other mm -hmm. pets, and we mm -hmm. saw people just bonding around this whole notion of this sea of humanity coming out on a day where they could actually have fun. <gasps> you know, it's like, <laughs> That's all we have to do is have exactly. fun exactly, and then also get information about some of the great community resources that are out there and meet other volunteers who have similar passions. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a win-win situation for everybody. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, and you can see by the numbers alone. You know, the first year when uh, Ashkran began this whole uh, kite day and it's over 3,000 people, they didn't expect that. And then uh, last year, you know, I was fortunate to be a part of the, you know, organizing food trucks and, uh, you know, 6,000 people. And then this year we're going for 10,000. To <laughs> see how many people come, through, come, event, come together for some of the event like this, it's just amazing. Yeah. And, and to see, like, as you said earlier, different families being involved, you know, eight different ages. It's just, it's just amazing. Huntsville is, a, I would say, a fantastic community and just, just adds to it. And it's one of the biggest events that you'll see in our community. It really is one of the biggest events. And I think that's even more why organizations like yourself, the one that you all represent, as well as all the other ones that come to the table. Uh, I want to affirm what Daniel has said a couple of times, that Asha Karan was the lead organizer for this event some uh, three years ago now and uh, Bhavani Kakani, who I can't say no to either. Anytime <laughs> Bhavani asks me to do something, I'm like, what do you want me to do, Bhavani? I, I'm happy to do it. And, and likewise, it's a, it's a mutual relationship because we're both very interested, as you all are, in the quality of life in our community. And you have a person who says, uh, and an organization that says, why don't we just have an event where we're not really voting on anything, well, we aren't really, you know, selecting something or deciding on something. We're simply coming out to say that there's value in being mm -hmm. who you are. Exactly. And that you come out and the whole theme of soaring for social justice. Can't we agree on some common themes mm -hmm. like togetherness, mm -hmm. fairness, you know, unity? Yes. Um, you know, can't we agree on these very basic fundamental principles of life that really make things better for everyone? And that's really what this thing is all about. Now, you throw in the idea that people get to do something that really connects with my inner child, and that's fly a kite. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like going, taking me back to New York City back yes. in the day when I used to go out in the park with my dad and say, let's fly the kite. And it was one of the most fun things to do, to catch a breeze. It's mm -hmm. like a surfer catches a wave. Yes. When that <laughs> kite catches the breeze, man, it's all over. It's all she wrote. Yes. And so not only do you have this one person experience, this, this experience that may be unique to me, but now you've got thousands of people out there doing yes. lots of different things. This is really a one-of-a-kind event that we thank Asha, Asha Karan for mm -hmm. birthing mm -hmm. in this community and taking a lead, but they've also shared it with the community, and I think that's one reason why all of us are engaged in this process now. So 2015 is upon us, and uh, we're real excited about this event coming up once again. And as you said, Daniel, it's been growing. I was there that first year, two, 3,000 people showed up. Last year, almost 6,000. This year, you're pushing for 10. And uh, on a beautiful day or not, I believe you'll get it because the word is already out yes. and people are already talking about Kite Festival 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm brand new to the process. What do I expect when I come out on that day? Well, first of all, you expect great weather. <laughs> That's what we want. That's right. Exactly. We want great weather. But also you're going to have um, uh, a, a numerous volunteers that are going to here to serve you. Um, we're fortunate with our committee. You know, I, I'm blessed to be the chair this year. But to have a group of leaders that say, I want to give up my time to make this work for this particular day. So you have people there to serve. Um, and you know, anybody can volunteer. So yes. that's one thing we'll let people know at the end if they want to volunteer how they can contact somebody. Yeah. So. Ab absolutely. Then also we'll have probably about uh, 12, 10 to 12 food trucks there so you'll be able to purchase food, which is basically the only thing you got to purchase that day. Everything else is free. And we know that food trucks have been a big hit in Huntsville. Yes. I mean, five, 6,000 people uh, on Church Street in downtown Huntsville on a Thursday or Friday afternoon has been an amazing experience. Um, the old saying, if you build it, they'll come. Yes. I guess if you park it, <laughs> they'll come. Exactly. They'll come. And the food truck has been a big hit yes. here in Huntsville, so that should attract yes. uh, several thousand alone, right? No, thank you, Chad Emerson, for the <laughs> first vision. So I appreciate that. And then also um, on that day, we'll have a variety of uh, vendors there. We'll have a variety of nonprofits. Uh, last year we had over 80. 
um, non nonprofits and vendors. Uh, we'll have some kite vendors there. Uh, we'll have just a variety of different activities going on, demonstrations, we'll have great entertainment, uh, great MC. So we have a lot of different things going on that we're, we're excited about. And last year and probably again this year, Huntsville Drumline will, of course, you know, grace us with their presence, who you know these young people, and Angela Walker, those young people just do an outstanding job. So we're just excited about all the great things happening. Yeah, and I heard that the, uh, the stick masters, who are the Huntsville Drumline yes. drummers, yes. Uh, were invited to be a part of the inaugural yes. parade. Mm -hmm. in Montgomery just a few uh, weeks ago. Yes. And uh, that's a very exciting thing to know that they were actually hosted or sponsored by one of our local yep. um, congressmen. Yeah, Mike Ball, yep. And uh, I think that's a mm -hmm. great experience for them, one that they'll never forget, but I think it's, again, an indication of why this community works so well in so many ways. Now, you mentioned nonprofits, and I just wanted people to know to kind of get a sense, over 80 different nonprofits last year, that's a lot of groups. Yes. And I would dare to say that's a sampling of the number of groups in this mm -hmm. community. You're a big nonprofit guy, you've been out there working with them for many years, and I know you're a big United Way support as yes. well. Um, what kinds of information will be available for people that come out and are part of this? Okay, well, um, I'll answer that, you know, because Carrie, uh, well, one of the things that you'll have is you'll have, like the Y will be there as a representative handing out great Y information. Um, you'll have uh, places like Big Brothers Big Sisters who, you know, work with mentors. You'll have um, the Hunter Community Drumline, which I shared earlier. So you'll have a variety of different people. Um, Ash Crown will have a table set up. Which so, and they'll be, they'll be just sharing information about their services yes. and... And doing what kinds of things? Services, and, and each each group will have uh, at least two individuals there at the tables, and they'll be showing de de providing demonstrations. You know, the way we involved, they do the children's activities. Um, we'll have so a variety of that. They'll be sharing education as well as information on what what's going on in our community. Okay, so people will be able to come out, and I don't know about this particular resource in the community, and so I come past the table. There'll be somebody there can probably give me a brochure. Mm -hmm. Uh, discuss a certain program to me, help me learn how to get connected to a, a type of service that's out there that can improve the quality of my life. And so as a consequence of being a part of this, people can be so much more informed and better equipped coming from this process. And there's so many things in Huntsville area that you know, I, I don't even know about. And that's, that's the amazing part about it. Like you have 80 nonprofits coming out and it's like, I didn't really offer this, I didn't really offer that. So there's, and what, what, I've, what I like to see about this is the, the partnership opportunities that come from this. Because these nonprofits come out and they, they represent their individual nonprofits, but what happens is they get to talk to the person next booth next to them, mm -hmm. or they start walking around and saying, hey, we can work together on this, and it makes the entire community a better place. So it's a big part of this is community awareness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Letting people know what's out there, what's uh, available to them, and um, take the opportunity to have so much more. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Okay. Well, I'm excited. I hope you guys no, are. Sure. It's, I'm, I'm just I'm overwhelmed by everything that's going on with this. It's just it's just it's just amazing to see a group of leaders and the vision, group of leaders coming together and just impact so many people in Huntsville area. And, and we're just doing our doing our part. So it's, well, good. Been, it's exciting. Good, good. It's exciting. You got some kites there, too. And that's guess that's a sample. Why don't you just hold that up? Okay. Grab, grab, grab one. one and just kind of, you know, now you're going to actually have these for sale at the event. Mm -hmm. uh, and so people can come empty handed if they want, but they can actually take this as an opportunity to fly that kite that they've uh, had a chance to perhaps purchase recently yes. mm -hmm. or put up for um, storage yes. uh, since last <laughs> year. And they're waiting for that big win, that first big win of the year to come up yep. and fly it one more time. But it's really amazing. I, it's a designated area, of course, mm -hmm. uh, where kites can be flown. But I mean, the sea of kites yes. that one witnesses as a result of coming out to this thing is, is a really, I think, it's a motivating thing to yeah. see it because you've got this sense of freedom, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and the whole experience speaks to something that goes beyond just a day. You know, yes. again, it's this, it's this interconnectedness that, and I'm kind of sharing my experience, that interconnectedness of seeing all these different pieces of the community come together under one roof per se, even though it's not necessarily a roof, mm -hmm. but it's, it's, it's a building where some people are, but it's also the outside stuff that's going on. But in this one space, you've got these thousands of people occupying mm -hmm. this one space, mm -hmm. and that space actually creates opportunity. Yes. It creates a sense of hope. It creates a sense of how this community works. And because of that, you have this wonderful opportunity, I think, to really help people see and appreciate 
why Huntsville, Alabama? It's a question I ask, get yeah. asked a lot. Why Huntsville, Alabama? And I'll start, you know, naming one thing after another. And they'll say, really, you know? And I could probably work for the CVB, <laughs> Visitors Bureau, because mm -hmm. I love the city. I mean, we've got so many great things going on here. And when you talk about social services, this community does not have a shortage of people who want to help. Yes. This community does not have a shortage of opportunities to make a difference in somebody's life. Absolutely. And across the board, whether I'm talking on this TV show or I'm talking on my radio show, working in my job, walking through the community, connecting with people at various levels, it's just an opportunity to see just how great this community really is. It's interesting you say that because when I came, um, moved to the Huntsville area uh, about four and a half years ago, I wanted to get involved. And one of the, one of the people that uh, talked to me told me, she, she said, be careful what you ask for because people are always looking for opportunities to get you involved and there's so many great things happening here. So anybody who wants to be involved, it's open to anybody. So we don't, mm -hmm. we don't turn people away. We want you to make sure that everyone can play a role with the success of this day. It's all volunteer driven. And it's, it's, it's great to see, you know, hundreds of volunteers coming out and, and, and just giving back to community, spend, you know, four hours of their day um, just to be and make, make a difference. And when you talk about looking at a sea of kites out in, up in the air, it's just, it's amazing. So people are looking at each other and looking at the differences, looking mm -hmm. at well, who doesn't have this, who doesn't have that. What yeah, part people of town are you from? Exactly. Your, uh, yeah. Native heritage. Yeah. And, uh, it doesn't matter because people are looking at, wow. Yeah. And it's amazing to see all the people helping other yeah. kids get, you know, get their kites up. They can't get. It's just an amazing day. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. And I think that all of those concerns that people may have and live with on a daily basis all kind of morph into this one big opportunity of people just to come together and share that space once again. I think that mm -hmm. common space is so important to affirm yes. that we all have value. We all have a place in this world. And we all have this opportunity to come together and we also have the, I think, incredible responsibility yes. to make life better mm -hmm. before we leave. Exactly. And this is just one more chance to be able to do something like that. And, I mean, the Kite Festival, I think, is one of those things that for years to come, people are just yes. going to keep talking about. about. I think it's going to keep growing. Uh, it may even outgrow the location that it's at right now, which is kind of hard to imagine, but it's yes, it's conceivable. It yes, you know, you look at a Bonnaroo and that's about music. You right. look at something like this, that's really about people coming together. And that festival is a great festival and you've got other great ones that happen around. This kite festival, you know, every festival starts from somewhere. Yes. Mm -hmm. And this festival really has a strong purpose in terms of helping people see how this community really is committed to making a difference exactly. in other people's lives. So you've got a lot of educational institutions out there. Uh, they've got young people. We hope that they'll organize uh, field trips to this mm -hmm. event. You've got fraternities and sororities out there. You've got a ton of them. Mm -hmm. We hope that they'll, you know, challenge their, you know, you want to, like, challenge people, like water bucket challenges. <laughs> you know, challenge people to come out for a day of social justice yes. and talk about ways that we can work together in this community. You've got so many churches in this community, yes. hundreds of churches, yep. you know, and they've got buses parked on their mm -hmm. parking lots, and they can run buses. They can even, they, oh, they can even partner with local community agencies yep. to bring residents wow, that's good. to mm -hmm. the Kite Festival. I mean, there are all kind mm -hmm. of ways that this thing can really become so much more yes. than just an event. And I think that it's already gotten that great start. So, wow. It's amazing. It's just great to see this thing happening. Mm -hmm. So, again, tell us when it happens. Okay, it's March 7th, uh, 2015, of course, uh, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's going to be at John Hart Park, right off of Airport Road. You'll see all the signs and everything like on that day. And, um, uh, you know, uh, we're fortunate with uh, Carrie taking on the volunteers, and she, you know, so you can contact her for that. Mm -hmm. And um, it's going to be a great day. Okay. Can people come? You said 11 to 3. Can people come at any time doing it? Yes, yes. Yeah, They're not, not bound yeah, to stay. No. They can come and go as they please. We had to actually walk people out last year because <laughs> they kept coming, <laughs> they coming after, after time. So, but it was, it, was, it was fun. So come anytime, anytime. Okay, great. And uh, how would people find out more about this event? Is there a website, Facebook page, phone numbers, or do you have contact numbers that you'd like to share with people? Well, for volunteers, uh, Carrie can give her contact information. Yes, we're looking for over 100 volunteers. So as you were talking about people being connected, it's not just that you can be connected as an attendee. You can be connected to the vision, to the purpose of the event by volunteering 
in all sorts of capacities. You don't have to just man a booth for your organization, but you can help with cleanup, teardown, setup, directing people, parking. There's a lot of different avenues. So if you are interested in volunteering at all, you can contact myself. It's carrie.williams at wellsfargo.com. It's K-E-R-R-Y dot Williams at wellsfargo.com. Or you can call at 256 429-1230, and I can plug you in, direct you, give you more information. So if someone's looking for more information about how to be connected, they can give me a call or an email, and they don't have to commit, they can just find out more, because there's plenty of ways that I think people will be interested in being involved. Yeah, you said a, a couple of important things, actually, the whole notion of people often come to the event, but they forget that somebody's got to set it up, mm -hmm. and somebody's got to tear it down, and people right. may have a particular affinity towards doing one thing or the other or may have a little more extra time mm -hmm. to do one or the other. You definitely need those are key people. You got to set the place up and got to tear it down. Yeah. In fact, the more people that hang around to tear it up, the faster it tear it down, the faster it gets done. Mm -hmm. yes. And, uh, you know, I think one of the most disparaging things I've experienced is, you know, you have this big event and <laughs> it's over. And what happens then? You will disappear. Everybody <laughs> leaves. You and I, you and I rolled you up a lot of mats. We've done a lot of clear. Yeah. Clear. Clear. Everyone else is gone. I mean, everybody leaves. And they're saying, well, listen, great seeing you. Take care. Now, bye. <laughs> it's like, can you hang around for at least 30 minutes maybe and grab a couple of chairs? Just two. I just want just two <laughs> chairs. Yeah. You know, just help us out here. And so that's so important to be able to do that type of thing. And then, of course, the other thing is just the whole notion of people finding a way to volunteer mm -hmm. and just stepping up and doing it. And there are opportunities to do that if they want to. You know, you're not, you're not turning anyone away. Yes. Um, but of course you are monitoring, you know, lots of processes related to this. This is a big process. It is. It's a big committee. And you've got people on this committee from a whole cross section of the community. Exactly. And you also can go on a, a, a Community Kite Festival um, a Facebook page. Uh, so just put, put in that in your, in your Facebook page, like us. And also Ash Karan. Um, a S H A A K I R A N. Uh, they're go on the website as well, and we right. have information about yeah. that. AshaKaranOnline.org. Yes, I, I, yes it is. I log in so much. Yes. I, I remember. And I, I write Bavani so much. I, yes, <laughs> yes. I just remember this Asha Karan Online. That's A S H A K I R A N Online. All one word. Yep. Dot org, and uh, people can, of course. Find out about this festival. They can get lots of good information about what's going on. And all the great services Ashkaran offers as yeah. well. It's culturally sensitive mm -hmm. services for anybody dealing with violence, domestic violence, or whatever type of things. And they offer those services as You're well. You're right. As an agency, that's true. And then they're very supportive yes. of those other agencies that provide lots of different services for people throughout the community. Absolutely. So it's a wide-ranging, comprehensive, this event is wide-ranging, a comprehensive extension of the work that they do, and it includes so many other people around the community that have common interests and common goals, which of course is, is very important. Yeah. Um, so this is a family-friendly event, mm -hmm. and we're looking for lots of people. Yes, at least 100 volunteers, as we're expecting 10,000 yeah. people, so yeah. we will definitely yeah. be recruiting volunteers. You're not cutting off now. You're not, no. not going to no. get 100 no. and at say least. we don't need 101. <laughs> no. At least no. 100. Yeah, you may have a group of 25 or 30, even 40 or 50 that say, you know, it's one group that says we want to come out. So. Exactly. And this is a great way, again, this is a fun thing. It's not punitive. It's not horrible. Mm -hmm. It's not tiring. It's a fun thing. Exactly. And, and I would imagine you're going to get hundreds of volunteers. Um, I don't know if you're working with the Volunteer Center at the United Way either, but mm -hmm. uh, I think there's some connection mm -hmm. there, and that, of course, mm -hmm. can help generate some interest, too. So that's another place people can connect. Yes. They can go to madisoncountycares.org. Mm -hmm and they can get information about the Volunteer Center and volunteer opportunities, which the Kite Festival would be one. Exactly. And um, we certainly hope that people will take full advantage mm -hmm. of that. So. And I'd be remiss to you know, not thank the City of Huntsville as well as have come on as partners in this. So Ash Karan and the City of Huntsville have, have partnered with this, and Kenny, you spearheaded that with the Multicultural Affairs. So thank you for having that happen because you know, you, you're a busy man, as I always say, <laughs> my business man um, in Huntsville. But uh, you make it a point to make this a, part, a priority, so thank you. Well, for me, this is a no-brainer. It's, it's what we do, it's what we should do, and it's really, at the end of the day, what matters. So uh, I'm just happy to be a part of it, happy to work with the very qualified, passionate people as yourself, and um, let's just make it happen. Yes. Again, what's that date? March 7th, uh, at, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., John Hunt Park, and we look forward to it. All right, and lots of contact points. Uh, you can contact... 
uh, the website, Asha yes. Karan Online. They can go to MadisonCountyCares.org. They can go to the Facebook page. Yes. Um, you, can, you can find information, mm -hmm. and we'll keep putting it out there as well yeah. through our channels as well. So. And, and through our news stations, WHNT as well as, as a supporter also. That's right. That's right. Daniel Kassenberger, he is the executive director of the Heart of the Valley YMCA. I'm have to get used to saying that. Hogan Family Branch. and Hogan Family Branch. Thank you to Jerry Cordy, the new CEO, who's doing a fantastic job. All right. That beautiful facility out there. And Kerry Williams, Wells Fargo, Administrative Assistant, thank you for being here today. Thank you. I want to thank you for being a part of our broadcast, and we hope that you've learned a lot about Community Kite Festival 2015. It's coming up March 7th. I hope to see you there. In fact, promise us that you'll come and you'll find Daniel, you'll find Kerry, you'll find myself, and uh, you'll say, I heard it That's on great. Impact, and I uh, came out, I brought my family, I brought my friends, my relatives, my loved ones, to be a part of this awesome, awesome event. We're going to fill John Hood Park that day with a lot of promise, a lot of hope, and a lot of opportunity. We'll see you soon on our next edition of Impact. I'm Kenny Anderson. Have a great day.